Hey everyone, here's what's new with Axosoft version 16.1. We have added a new resource allocation feature to our release planner. When you plan your upcoming release and you add a user, Axosoft will let you know if this user is already allocated in other releases with this alert mark. And it will use that information to calculate their availability for your upcoming release. You can manually set the allocation to any percentage that you need. For example, if this user is only available on a half-time basis, you can set their allocation to 50% and Axosoft will adjust that user's capacity to match the 50% allocation. Vacation days are automatically factored in as well. The user's capacity will turn red if you over allocate work to one of your team members. So use this feedback to adjust the workload accordingly. In addition to resource allocation, we've added a button in the release planner that will automatically remove users with no items assigned to them. So it's a great way to clean up after you finish planning. With this release, we're introducing global search in Axosoft. As you navigate to the search bar, you will now see a globe icon for global search. Enabling global search will temporarily suspend all filters so you can search all items in your tab. So for example, if I'm in a work items tab and I know a certain work item needs to go into this release, I can enable global search to find it and then assign it to the release. Once I'm done with my global search, my filters come back on. That's the power of global search and be sure to try it with an all items tab. Version 16.1, includes a UX improvement with your browser back button. Now, anytime you have an Axosoft pop-up window open, hitting the browser back button will close it for you. If you're writing an email or have spent time editing an item, it no longer loses that information when you accidentally hit the back button. The daily scrum has been updated to display the remaining time for any sub items associated to an item. The progress bar will use the combined estimates for your parent and child items as work moves along. And we have added a default from address to notification settings for your user activation, password reset, and notification emails. That about covers what's new in version 16.1. Please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you in the next release.